Hello, 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 and welcome to my channel and welcome to the video. So, today I'm going to be starting off a new game called uh, Total Conflict Resistance. It's on Steam, it's on early access, it's a fantastic game. And uh, so I'm going to start a new game today. I'm going to show basically the basics of the game and how the game works. Very, very good game. So, I hope you all enjoy and I hope you'll continue watching. So, here, start a new game, global campaign, and then here's your factions. So, you can pick whichever faction you want. I am going to close my eyes and just pick one. So, let's close my eyes and pick one. Oh, oh I didn't even click. Right. Right. Oh, there we go. Right. So, easy, medium, realistic, or expert. For this series, I will put it on medium. Just so, uh, so we got the basics. It's basically more of a tutorial. So, number two starts low. Troop levels that start low, resources low, I always like to put it low, number of rebels low because they get annoying, alliances yes, and then start your campaign, you can change that, and I like to start on this one, so the supply and a start, right here we go, this is the, oh we'll start up here, okay nice one, um, this is the tactical map, so there's me, there's some lore, there's some Island and there's the mainland. This is just an island which I'll take over. Probably not in this episode, but in the next, I'll definitely take this over and then take this and then spread over to the mainland, I think. So, here's some law. A bit of law, you can pause it and just give it a read. I'll leave it up for a few seconds. There you go. There you go. I've read it all before, so I don't need to watch it again. <laughs> And then here's my city. So Nos, uh, Nodska is my main capital. That's your capital. Where your map takes you when you start the game is your ta ta um, capital. So here are your villages, or production villages, I'm guessing. So, and there's your airport. And also you get a dock, which you can create landing crafts. And this is where all the fun starts. So, there's your troops. I'm a democracy country, so I have different units from the... Oh, I guess these guys are here. These are uh, communists. So, what I like to do first is I like to put all my vehicles together into one. Which makes it a lot easier. So I'll move all my troops into a pile. Oh, I don't know why I actually got that troop. Need to click twice to get them to actually pick, get the unit. Otherwise, it won't uh, select it. Quite a lot of vehicles in this campaign, which is nice. Okay. So this will be my main battalion. So I'll change the name to I'll just put first. It's easy. And there we go. Right. So now, research. This tab here, bottom left, of all these. This is where you find your weapons. Obviously, next year I'll be able to research those. Year after, year after, year after, year after, etc. I always like to go to the uh, UMP first. I like this little submachine gun to start the game off. Well, it will take quite a long time to be honest to get there, but it's fine. And then here's all your ammo. So you need all this ammo for every weapon, every tank, every every jeep every artillery piece needs ammo so that you create the ammo you get uniforms for your troops as well want to have better armor stats rpgs suppressors scopes for your weapons which i will show in a later date on the uh, editor tab and then all your ammo for all your weapons and then you've got all your vehicles so i can start off getting these which I will start getting after I've got my weapons. Then you got your Air Force. Not all of this is unlocked because these are stuck behind an update which needs to come out at some point. I'm looking forward to this update. When you get all these, you get your know, Warhog, Lush, B2 Bomber, lovely. And then, oh, oh, it's going to do the same. Got the same picture. Yeah, the A10 Warhog. Yeah, really looking, really looking forward to that. So that's going to be fun. And then you've got your construction screen. 
this shows so I've got two farms I have three military factories and a gold mine and also Air Force Base and ship out. So first I'd like to start off by here's your buildings. So wheat, which I've already got to. Your bread, turn wheat into bread. Then your tobacco, tobacco factories. Cloth turns it into well uh, cotton fields, then turn it into cloth, which you need to build these two. And then you've got your meat, so you got your farms, and then you can create some canned goods for your population, which keeps morale high and also keeps your stability high. And then your basic resources down here, so wood and then planks and stone. And these, this can be a residential building, so if you put one in here, say, you get more population, more reserves. And then you've got research tab, research table, which then you can uh, put here and your research will go faster. Your bank, so you get like $10,000 per year. I don't really bother with that. I just attack other donations, take all their stuff and sell it. <laughs> Best way of doing it. And here's your resources, so your iron. So, on my nation here, because it's randomly generated, I have an iron ore. So, if I want to, I can come here. Press the right button. Um, come here, so I go to anywhere. So, no, no, just on these, so your main to so Narvik and Norska, I can't say the word, here, and then you can create uh, a gold plant, which will start creating gold uh, gold bars, which will be used for, for end game productions for tanks, etc. Which is up here, I got four already, and uh, do I have any? Oh, I got some ore, so I need to do that some production. First time twice, get my going, get that going. So I'm going to need. That ammo and that ammo to start with. This is for my troops. I already have enough ammo for them at the moment, so when I start getting it in my SMGs, I can start putting them, putting that to good use and making them, and then uh, they'll have the ammo ready. And also my vehicles, which uh, 12.799, which they should uh, 12.799. There we go. So let's start moving them. There's all my troops. Moving across the map, there you go, and then I can start to put them together. So what I'll do, move that back, put that, and then I'll put that in there, that in there, and I will give him that. Move him up on the airport, and move them here, into here, and I'll take him, put him there. Uh, there's more vehicles. I'll put him up there. That one does have a vehicle, but that's a transport truck. I don't want any transport trucks. Can if you want. Uh, not my cup of tea. Right. Down there. Put it there. And then a nice amount of vehicles. And I'll move him back. And then I'll do that. And now that has just vehicles. Okay. That Oh, that's why. <laughs> Silly me. Alright, put him back there. So we have rebels down here. As you can see. So, what I'll do is I'll go here, resupply, give them the best. Resupply buttons down here. So, rearmament, so rearm. You can also create militias like that. And then they will start to gear up and you'll get more and more, but I don't want any. But that's it. Oh, that's it. Here, and here's your reserves. There's your uniforms. Here's your weapons, ammo, and your money production, etc. So as I put the resource management on easy, all food that is created will automatically go to the cities and your army, so you don't have to micromanage on it. Like, you can change that if you want to. That's completely up to you. So if I go down here to the trading, so I'm selling aluminium ore. I'm not, I'm going to cancel that because I'm going to need that. Wood, I'm also going to need that, but I will keep these two selling. You can also buy you know, copper ore, guns and vehicles if you want to. This is really, really good for the economy in the future. And also, but I like to mostly take over other cities and I like to uh, sell all their stuff. <laughs> and then you come down here and you got the diplomacy tab. So I'm allies with these. No, I haven't got any allies, but I can be allies with these. I'm making an alliance. There'd be a 27% chance, but I can pay to you know, use your dollars in the game and 
um, make it go faster, but I always start with trade agreements. Very important. Because you can buy stuff in the future. So, what are you here? Resupply. And then, I will go down to these rebels and I will attack them. Right, so here we are. We're in one of the in the first battle. There's all my vehicles. And you start off here, you can move your vehicles, do whatever you want with them. But press M, you'll leave to the main tactical screen. So get them all. Press J. Get all your troops out of the vehicle. Down here it tells you everything you need to know. And then what I'll do, get that, and then I will start to move up my troops into a line. Remember to keep your vehicles as far away from enemy troops as you can. They have RPGs and they will one tap you from half, about say from here and say there was an enemy over here. He could have an RPG, he will fire it and he will most likely hit you. They're like snipers. <laughs> I mean, I think that part needs to be changed a little bit, if I'm honest. But uh, other than that, it should be alright whenever, wherever they are. Ah, so, uh, there they are. Oh, they've got two vehicles coming after me. Very good. So, leave my troops in the line here. They will attack me. Oh, they've got three vehicles. Ooh, this might be a bit of a challenging one. Nah, the rebels. Be fine. <laughs> you can also then yes, get troop and control them like that. Press shift to zoom in. Remember, no one, not many people seem to know that. So shift, zoom in. And there's the first vehicle. Oh, no. So look, my RPGs. That's just mental. Look up. Yeah, hey. Even your own RPGs are snipers. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. Where are, they, where are they going? What are they doing? The AI isn't the most intelligent in this game just yet. It is getting updated quite a lot, to be fair. These two aren't even. Let's move up. Come on. Comes the other vehicle. Ah, there we go. Another vehicle gone. Let's finish off the rest. Down here. That's how many troops I have. That's how many the troops they have. Here's your troops down here, so you can click here, click on one, and you can control them. So just tap, press on it, and now I'm controlling them. Just like that. Press M, and you will leave the map. I don't know why I keep saying leave the map. You know what I mean. <laughs> leave the troop. So, what are these guys doing now? Not a lot. Let's, go, let's move up my troops a little bit. Just pull them up here. Affirmative. Oh, there is another vehicle there as well. Careful they don't get the laugh and cheese out. Oh, no, I'm ready. Oh, Jesus. Hopefully you, you'll get it into your inventory. So at the end of the map, you get. Oh, did I just 
Uh, so when you do, when you uh, finish a battle, you uh, get rewards at the end, such as what weapons left over and vehicles. But obviously, I'm going to destroy that one, which is a shame. Oh, I lost. Oh no, I lost you. Oops. See, the AI is not exactly very smart. They should be hiding, but they're not. Well, they are bowling. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, is that RPG? Oh, oh. Was that an enemy vehicle that just charged me? It was as well. He just charged me. Uh -huh. Right, so this is the end of the trophies. That's what you win. So I lost two infantry, none injured. No vehicles lost. They lost three vehicles, seven injured. And 43 dead. Got one vehicle out of it and a bunch of weapons. Alright, and then Backless had to come up. They have gone. So now I like to. You have to rearm your troops. So he's got 82% ammo left. So I'll go back to my main city. I've got no more threats at the moment. And then I'll do. Rearm. But I don't think they have any. Not yet. So they will soon. It is making. Slowly but surely. It will get there. So, construction. Let's come here. Let's make one of those. So, that is a bakery. So, that will use wheat to make food. And then, production. That's all going fine. Squad editor. I will show this in a future video. I don't have the equipment to show you at the moment. So, I'll shoot that in a future video. This is going well, it's got 20 days left, happy days, trading, oh some of my guns are sold so that means more money for me, and that is basically the basics of this game, the basics you start off your game, obviously you know all your resources, gold, copper, aluminium, make vehicle, that's the thing to you, that's all the resources you can mine, you can buy and then you can turn it into gold, copper, Aluminium, iron, all bars. Oh, another, bit, another one done. Right, get in there, get in there. Then you have your fuel, so you'll need fuel when you have vehicles. And you go across the map, obviously, they've got to have fuel. And then your oil, which you can turn into fuel by, you, by creating a refinery, which I can't show you at the moment. And then your other resource, meat, your food, your money. And then here's your cities, and here's your battalions. So there's uh, one city, it's got some stuff in. Another one. The harbour even has some stuff in. Nabek. That is your gold production. I like to sell my gold at first because I'm not going to be using that gold yet. And then there's your main city. And your airport, which have four helicopters. So, what I do, click on it. Create Air Force Battalion. And then add them up. There we go. Then, when you're in the next battle, which I'll show in the next video, is that you can use that uh, for air support. It's really, really handy. So, that's it for this video, I think. I think that's the basics of the game. I hope you all enjoy, and I hope you all like and subscribe for more. How, it depends how well this video does, is if I'll do any more, which I probably will do any more anyway. So, I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.